Hi, Miss Bethany here. We're going to go over our behavior basic rules for this week. First, we'll read a story and then we'll have our discussion questions after the story. All right, today we're talking about how I act in the community. We can go into the community for field trips or community outings. Leaving school is a big privilege and it is very important to remember all of the rules. Do you remember going on a field trip with your class? Sometimes you can go to the community library or you can go to watch a play or you might go to a museum for a field trip. It's a very special, special thing to go on a field trip. The first rule of how to act in the community is to always be safe and make smart choices. How can you be safe? The same way that you're safe at school, by following the rules and remembering to use your brain to make the right choice. The second rule of how to act in the community is to always listen to my teacher and staff. So you don't have your parents with you normally when you go out on a field trip, when you go out into the community, but you do have your teacher and the people that work at your school. So always listen to them when you're out in the community and you'll be safe. The third rule of how to act in the community is to always be safe on the streets and in the parking lots. Well, how can you be safe on the street? Do you remember when you come to cross a street, what are you supposed to do? Do you remember? You look both ways and make sure that there's no cars coming so that you stay safe when you're crossing the street. That's very important. In the parking lot, we can't run around in the parking lot because there's lots of cars in the parking lot and they might back up when you're not even looking and that would not be safe for you or for them. The fourth rule of how to act in the community is to always be polite. Sometimes we will go into different restaurants, stores, or organizations. Each place will have different rules of how to act. But in every place, you can always say please, and you can always say thank you. And those are great rules for being polite. And if someone gives you something that you don't want, you can say no thank you, and that's okay. Always remember to use your words, please and thank you, when you're out in the community. The fifth rule of how to act in the community is to always keep my hands and my feet to myself. So, if we went like this, stretching our arms around in the bus or in the community, is that okay? No, that's not okay. It's not staying safe because we might hit somebody in the face and hurt them. We might really bother someone or they might not be able to see what's going on if our hands are stretched out all over the place. We have to keep our hands and our feet to ourselves. Make sure that you're nice and tight. Your hands and feet are to yourselves and that your body is calm when we're out in the community. The sixth rule of how to act in the community is to ask for help if I need it. That's what the teacher is there for and the staff are there all to help you if you need it when you're out in the community. When I go into the community, my teacher in school is trusting that I can behave appropriately. It's a big deal if they said, hey, you can come with us out into the community. You can come on our field trip. That's really big privilege. They trust you that you're going to follow the rules out in the community. So we want to make sure that we don't let them down, that we do behave appropriately. When I am in the community, I am representing my school. I need to remember to behave and always be safe. So when you're out in the community, you're representing Central Elementary School. 
everybody, when they see you, they say, oh, that's a kid from Central Elementary School. So we want our, to be on our best behavior. So everyone looks at us and says, that must be a good school. Thumbs up. So we are going to follow the rules. Okay. Let's do a thumbs up for yes and a thumbs down for no. Here's the questions. You ready? Question number one. Do you go out into the community with your class? Yes, we do. When we go out to the community, we go with our class and our teacher. If you have a question, can you ask someone for help? Yes, you can always ask your teacher or other staff for help when you have a question. Can you run in the parking lot? No, it's not safe to run in the parking lot. I'm not gonna do it. Should you be safe in the community? Yes, we know the rules of being safe in our school so we can be safe in the community too. Can you talk to strangers when you're in the community? No, better not to talk to strangers. Let's just talk to our classmates and to our teachers and the staff so we stay safe. It's just the best way. Are you expected to keep your hands and feet to yourself when you're in the community? Yes. If we keep our hands and our feet to ourselves, we won't accidentally hurt someone. Do you represent Central Elementary School when you're in the community? Yes, you do. We represent our school, so we want to be on our best behavior. Can you run and scream when you're in a restaurant or in another store? No. Those aren't wise or safe choices. We want to be on our best behavior in the community. Do you need to listen to your teacher and staff when you're outside of school? Yes. The best way to have fun and to be safe is to listen to your teacher and staff. Do you need to follow all the safety signs when you're out in the community? Yes. We always follow all the safety signs when we're out with our class in the community on a field trip. And that's the best way to have a good time. See you later.